Hello everybody, this is Starman, and welcome back to Let's Play Vampire The Masquerade Bloodlines. Now, uh, I have decided to backtrack a little bit, because after consulting with a friend who played the game, I determined that uh, we had a bit of a glitch here, and that while it is possible to fight your way through the mansion, it's really not the best or most fun way, particularly with my skill set. So we're going to backtrack a little bit and see if I can... Uh, nice phantom win there, blowing that skirt up. <laughs> okay, I'm not sure how random that is, or if that's just the uh, animator got bored, but uh, we're going to try and talk to these two again and see if I can get the option to bamboozle them out of their ticket. Yeah, what is it? This is the mansion? Giovanni? Oh yeah, here's the place. I haven't met you before. Are you the family member of the family? Yes, I am. Is that right? Hell of a family to be born into. You're married into your both. You have an invitation with you? Oh, yes, I've got it. I'll see you inside. Are you positive you haven't lost my invitation? And yeah, there's supposed to be a conversation that triggers between the two of them. Uh, yeah. Giovanni? Huh? Yes! Oh, we... You have an invitation? Yes. Never mind. Goodbye. Okay. So then apparently... Yes, what is it? Yeah, after talking to her, we get this option, if things don't glitch up, is your wife okay? She'll be fine, after I get a pot of coffee in her. If I were you, I'd worry more about her embarrassing me, or putting her in throat and murky her up, smack her around a bit, the adrenaline. Um, maybe you should take her home. Well, she did pretty much cause the last function to come to a screeching halt. That woman has the self-control of a pubescent chimpanzee. Better hear up, I think she's gonna puke. Come on, Maria. We're going home. Ah, she is indeed. Wonderful time. Time for go to bed. Yeah, I'm not sure if that's an intentional Tor Johnson reference or not, but uh, I'm still making the joke if they were. So, yes, now we have uh, peacefully infiltrated the mansion, and since the Giovanni are one of the more social manipulator type of uh, vampire, we can walk about and talk to folks and get information and not have to fight our way through the place. Well, not yet. Might as well be a costume party. Everyone's smiling. Pretending this isn't a pageant put on by the patriarch of this family. Fine. But this is a contest, and I came to win. Uh, I'm Victor. Pleasure to meet your acquaintance. Hmm. Mira. Mira Giovanni. So what exactly did you mean by uh, calling this a contest? They gather us up here to decide just who's the best and brightest of this generation is. The lucky few are given the real power in this family. But some of us need to win more than others. Forget it. You wouldn't understand. Oh. Do you need help winning the contest? Actually, there are two people at this party I know they had their eye on for a long time. One's Chris, my cousin. The other's Adam, who made Bruno a huge amount of money on tech investments a few years back. With them out of the running, they choose me. And choose you for what? For a few new... I need something damaging about your role, so it'll be worth to you. I'll spare no expense for a lock. I want to be in that circle of power, but I won't let blood get in the way. And of course, when your time comes, I'll pay back the favor. Hmm, circle of power? Uncle Bruno. Since I was a kid, he's been the patriarch of this family, except he hasn't aged today. I met with a senator from Massachusetts who asked me if I was related to Bruno Giovanni. He said Uncle Bruno helped him with his first campaign back in 1950. We've all heard the rumors. The core of our family. They never age. They're secretive. Whispers of blood magic and a kiss. Whatever it is, they pick the very best of us for it. I'd do anything to be picked. I've made some errors in judgment, but I've lobbied hard for the family's interests. Errors in judgment? Like what, for instance? What? 
Forget it. I'm not saying anything about that. Well, if I hear anything, I'll fill you in. Tell me what you heard about the sarcophagus. The sarcophagus? I thought they closed that place down after they found that missing cheerleader doped up in the back. That was years ago, though, when I was in high school. Ah, forget it. Excuse me. Actually, good times. Oh. And, uh, I've heard something about your family you'd like to know. Well, I have not, so... Hello, goodbye. Okay, so I didn't get anything incriminating out of her. So how is that Bruno doing? Hi. I don't think we've met before. Well, yeah, and you turning around looking other ways is uh, not exactly encouraging me to speak, but uh, Victor Rosselli, Nini, and you are? Nadia Milliner. It's a pleasure to meet you, Victor. Are you from the Chicago Rossellinis? Yes, that's right. Oh, you must give my regards to Great Aunt Frances when you get back. I stayed with her last time I was out that way. She was very sweet to me. I will. So what do you do? I'm working on my master's out here. I'm from back east. The Giovannis have been nice enough to let me stay here while I finish up my studies. I've learned a great deal from them, like you wouldn't believe. For example? I, um, I really can't say much about that. Oh, come on. We're all family. Oh, forget about it, really. It's nothing. Oh, come on. What's the big deal? How old are you? I think you're in high school. You know you want to tell me. Okay. I'll show you something, but you can't tell anyone. Promise? Follow me. Okay, go ahead. That was a sudden rush. And a lot of random skirts blowing up around, but... Okay, secret Come passageway. On. Ah. Come on. Okay. I uh, may have unintentionally skipped ahead a little bit further than I'd planned a bit more quickly, but uh, you know what? I can live with this. You know what they do in this room? Looks like an embalming room in a funeral parlor. Mm-hmm. Know what they do with the corpses? Uh, eat them. No idea. Please don't say sex, fast food, hamburger meat. Dress them like Vikings, threes them nice, and drop them in the ocean. Uh, I shouldn't do this, but why don't I show you? It gets pretty weird from here. Don't say I didn't warn you. Oh, and be ready to run. You'll understand when it happens. Follow me. I'm coming. Are you, uh, are you going? Ah. Shh. They don't usually attack. Just don't provoke them. Ah. Zombies. not provoking them is not in the cards. Okay, that's locked there. Okay, this has gone far enough. We're going to go ahead and, uh, since she's following me,
Grace looks a little bit like Zooey Dash now, or maybe Katy Perry, I'm not sure which. And hey, I got a book. Okay, well I'm not sticking around there, so let's go ahead and get uh, out of here. Actually, let me look at that book first. Oh, <laughs> And she stayed behind, it looks like. And it looks like another, let's see, Giovanni Log. Let's see, invitation. Voque de la Morte by OK. I cannot actually do anything with that. Okay, apparently she's not leaving with me, and I really hate to leave her down there alone. And uh, no response, nothing. I think something may have glitched again. Plus, I'm supposed to interact with the zombies down there, but okay, what the heck. I mean, maybe I am supposed to provoke them. Hey, how's it going? Okay, can I uh, fight them now? Okay, great. What's happening? They're coming again. Gosh, we've got to get it out of here. Uh, yeah, that's what I was trying to do. Okay, maybe I need to fight the rest of them. Okay, you know what? I got a shotgun, I might as well complete the cliche and use it.
really remember how many of these things I actually down. There's going to be more coming. deeper into the tomb, this doesn't really make much sense, but, uh, what the heck. I don't know what happened back there, but I know a way through this next part. Shotgun takes this many shells. Seriously. Huh. You're going back upstairs. Yeah, um, good idea. what I was wanting to do in the first place. This way. Yes, this way, this way. This way. This way. Wait, she's still back here trying to say this way, this way over here. This way. This way. Yeah, okay. I think that uh, the glitch probably has her stuck there trying to go the other way. This way. I'm content to head back upstairs. Because, yeah, I knew the Giovanni had skeletons in their closet. I didn't need to know about the zombies in the basement. Besides, I get the feeling I'm going to have to fight my way down there sooner or later anyway. Might as well get the politicking and uh, all the social manipulation stuff I'm good at done first. Gained Bad Monkey No Banana from the pile of books. Research of at least eight to use this. Research of nine to use that. Well, heck. You don't speak. Probably anybody who's standing in a matched pair is probably a conversation. How about you? Fantastic party, huh? What? Oh, sure. Nice place to have here. You know Uncle Bruno. So you can move you. Something matter? Family events. How many more of these do we have to attend before we're taken seriously? Honestly. Yeah, really. 
They're pitting us against their own flesh and blood for the privilege of joining the power click. All you hear is, what have you done? How much did you make? Who do you know? You can't tell anyone anything, because they might use it against you. You mean if you found dirt on the others, you wouldn't use it? The heart says no, but the businessman in me tells me to smear them into the ground. I guess I would. And I know they'd probably do the same. So if I hear some gossip out of her people, you'd be interested? Yeah, I guess I would. Nothing to be concerned about. Excuse me. For example, I got the inside track on this company right now. And let me tell you, when this company goes public, everyone's going to wish they had a piece of it. Now, tell me more. Well, it's a biotech firm. You know, they're working on growing replacement organs. Really fascinating technology. In a couple of years, I bet everyone will be going to them for parts. I figure an investment of $50,000 could be easily tripled in five years. Hmm. Experience how did your uh, last investments return? You take risks in this game. Sometimes you make a million, sometimes you lose a million. The economy changes. It's had problems lately, but it's bound to rock it back any week now. Hmm. You don't sound very confident. I won't lie to you. I've had a couple of busts here and there, had a few losses, it happens. But this company, this is the big score right here. Anything you wanted to invest, 50, 30, 15 grand, whatever, it's high yield, look. So essentially, you haven't made any money in a while. Well, the business... I'm networking with the wrong people, excuse me. Let's see, can I report that? Yeah. Okay, apparently that does not count as family gossip. Given that offer... So how many hear about the sarcophagus? Sarcophagus? Antic firm? Like to, but I don't have my checkbook on me. Do you have cash? Credit? We could. What do you mean helping you out? It's just that. You sound pretty desperate. I won't lie to you. So essentially, you haven't made any money. Well, the... Okay. Oh. I think I heard something about your family. Yes. Nothing you could use. I don't know, I think that guy being, uh... So caught. Oh. Okay, well, I thought that could be useful. And try on him again. What? Uh, so caught. Unless that's some slang or coat. I don't know what you're... T I don't know what you're talking about, and I'm starting... Okay, fine. So, uh, that didn't work out well at all, so I guess, uh... Well, here's the kitchen. It's an awfully small laundry room for a, uh... earlier. And by earlier I mean uh, never. I 
destroy the upper staircase. See if there's anybody worth talking to up here. Security guards? No, that doesn't open. That does not open. That does not open. Okay, so really it looks like there's nothing I can do up here apart from go back to the dungeon that I already went to and start exploring. Well, that was a nice productive 20 minutes. It's weird because my, uh, well, okay, my persuasion seduction, I haven't really put points in them in a while. That's more seduction than anything, though. Still just did raise charisma, so maybe I'll get more leeway out of that now. Oh. Uh, let's see. Yes. Given that opportunity, it sounds right. You take risk. I won't lie. To you. Take risks and I won't lie to you. Okay? Okay, so, uh, yeah, I think I'm. Oh. Whatever skill set I'm supposed yes. to have here, it's uh, not quite high enough and I probably removed my chance, so, uh. Go back to the punch bowl. Go back to the party. Bruno will be out shortly. Okay, well, you know. Given that opportunity. No, I'm not. Okay, you know, I guess we'll go back to the dungeon and see what we can find there. Ah, ha, ha. So, yeah, I'm going to head back to the dungeon, and next time we will uh, start back up exploring the zombie-haunted whatchamacallit and hoping we can find the sarcophagus down there. I will uh, see you then, and until then, have a good evening.